If you own a small business and you do any type of digital marketing, whether that be website, Facebook or Instagram ads, or even Google ads, then you have more than likely benefited in some way, shape or form from third party cookies. Third party what? Third party cookies are basically that piece of code that companies embed onto websites to collect and gather data. But what most small business owners don't know is that Google has made a recent announcement that is going to change the way that we use digital marketing. If you are a small business owner, you'll want to watch this video because I'm going to share with you exactly what Google's announcement was in relation to these third party cookies and also how it may affect you and the way that you market and advertise your business on these digital platforms here in the very near future. Hi y'all, I'm Vivian Walton, the Season Marketer, and I share marketing tips, tools, and tactics with resourceful business owners. If you're new here, every Monday I release a new marketing video. So if you wanna stay up to date and current on marketing news, go ahead and hit subscribe right now or follow me on any one of my other social media accounts. All right, so today I'm gonna to be explaining Google's most recent announcement to phase out third-party cookies. Now, before I explain the announcement and what exactly it means for small business owners who are advertising on websites, social media, or Google, let me go ahead and cover the very basics of cookies. When we are talking about the internet, Cookies is the term that is used for the code that is used to collect user data and information on any given website. Now there are three types of cookies, first party cookies, second party cookies, and third party cookies. The purpose of all cookies is to collect data and information. Now, the difference really comes in whenever we're talking about where the data is stored and also how the data and information is used. First party cookies. This is the most powerful data because these cookies are collected and stored by the actual website you are visiting. It is the most accurate data by far, and the purpose of these analytics and data is to provide you, as a user, with a better customer experience. So for example, when you are on Amazon buying something and they show you other items you may be interested in, these use first party cookies to decide which items to put in that list. And it is more than likely based on your past purchases and also the data they have collected about what other shoppers have bought in accordance with the product you are looking to buy. Second party cookies. This data is exchanged as a partnership between companies. Second party cookies are actually first party cookie data that is transferred from one company to another through a partnership. So for example, if I am a hotel chain and I collect first party cookie data for people visiting my website, think names and email addresses, I can then form a partnership with a car rental company to share my first party cookie data with them so that they may be able to use that data to specifically target ads to those people because they may be interested in renting a car. Third party cookies. This is the least accurate type of data because it is created and gathered by websites that are not the actual website you are visiting. The best way to understand third party cookies is to understand that the purpose of collecting this type of data is not to enhance the user's experience, but to track it and sell it off for purposes of advertising. For example, if you are on a website and you see this type of ad, this ad used third party cookies to decide what website to place the ad and where. Advertising is the main purpose of this data collection. You'll hear way more conversation about first party and third party cookies than anything else. But to be honest with you, most of the hot topic conversations are really centered around third party cookies. And that's because it has everything to do with user privacy. So here's the rub as small business owners. We are also consumers and as consumers, we turn to the internet to purchase and buy products and services. We go online to learn how to do new things. We use it to communicate and stay in touch with family and friends. But to some extent, we probably do not like the idea of being tracked online. Now, there is a part of us that has learned over time to accept that you know, they're collecting data on us whenever we're using the internet. But I may be cool with you as a business tracking my online patterns and behaviors if it guarantees that I in turn get a more customized shopping experience. 
first party cookies. However, it's a little different and becomes more of a nuance and a little creepy, more of an encroachment on my privacy if you're then using that data to really just turn around and put more ads in front of me. The conundrum is that as small business owners, we are also the ones that are placing some of these ads. We understand that there is value in collecting data and information that in turn we can use as business owners to really target and retarget our ads to the people that are gonna need and want our products and services the most, our target audience. Now, onto the main reason that you're watching this video. Google has made an announcement that they are going to phase out using third-party cookies on Google Chrome. Why is this a big deal? Because Google is in fact one of the last browsers to actually jump on this bandwagon. And what I, be, what I mean by that is other browsers such as Safari and Firefox have already made this transition within the last two years. But we have to keep in mind that Google owns over 60% of the market share when it comes to web browsers. So that means that when Firefox and Safari decided to eliminate using third-party cookies, it wasn't gonna affect us as small business owners nearly as much as now that Google has decided to also follow suit and eliminate using third-party cookies. And part of that reason is because as a small business owner, where do you think most of your customers are going online to look for your business? Probably on Google Chrome. Google can't quit using third-party cookies overnight, so it is a transition that's gonna happen into 2022 and beyond. But as a small business owner, you're probably going to start to see an effect on your end through some of these areas. In the next 18 to 24 months, you are probably going to see a shift or change in some of the digital opportunities that people are presenting to you as a small business owner. So for example, if you are using marketing agencies or advertising agencies to help you with some of these digital ad placements, if they are using third-party cookie data and that data is then eliminated and no longer available to them, they may come up with different solutions or offerings for you as a customer. So just be aware, you'll start to see that shift or maybe a change in digital opportunities over the next year and a half to two years. Another change that you will see, and this one is almost hard to believe because we already think of Google as such a big machine, but Google is gonna become an even bigger player in data collection and information. While Google has decided to get rid of using third-party cookies, they did have a solution, and their solution was actually to create what they called a privacy sandbox. Now, this privacy sandbox is a way for them to still collect data, it's just not identifiable data to a particular user. So what they're doing is they're using now an algorithm and data collection method to where it shows aggregate results and in information for for groups of people and it's not identifiable down to one user. All right, so I want us to stop right here and think about this. The one company that owns over 60% of market share in web browsers is discontinuing third-party cookies, which means it's no longer going to allow other companies to come in and collect data and information on Google Chrome that they can then turn around and sell to advertisers but instead they're gonna replace it with a privacy sandbox that is Google's own way of collecting data. And now I understand that they're saying it's not as identifiable as you know what third-party cookies are doing, which is understandable. I think we all want to maintain some form of privacy with what we're doing online. However, in the same sense, what do you think Google is going to do with that data and information? they're going to turn around and pitch it to us as small business owners as a way to tap into our target audience and advertise to them. So in the sense, they are just creating or becoming larger in how they are able to use the data that Google Chrome is collecting. While a lot still remains to be seen on how this is gonna change some of the advertising options we have as small business owners on digital platforms, I can 100% guarantee you that over the next year and a half to two years, our digital space and digital advertising opportunities are going to start to look 
different. And so just be prepared for that because it is going to shape and change the way that we are connecting with our audience online. If you like this video, remember that every Monday I release a new video with information just like this that could help you save time and money when it comes to marketing your business. If you haven't already checked out my website, go to www.theseasonmarketer.com where you can find all of my previous videos and also a couple of freebies for you to download today. Thanks again for tuning into another Monday Marketing Minute. I'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.